All right, so this quick video will be showing you Python, a very simple way to do Python, uh, like numbers and stuff like that, right? So what we'll be doing is first, we'll be declaring what we want to set our values. Um, in this case, we'll do like num uh, underscore one, and then we'll say that's gonna be equal to, uh, let's say six. And then we'll say num underscore two, which is gonna be number two, all right, and we'll say equals to in this case three, and then we'll say num underscore let's say three, and let's say I have this equal to ten. All right, and then we'll say num equal to or num four, okay, equal to four. Now let's break down what we're doing right here. Now this is basically declaring the values. It's building a, and, and in Python, think about it this way. Python knows this as a variable, right? It knows the variables and it knows basically that this is going to be a number being that you that's what you set it as, right? So if you were to set this as a string, uh, this knows this as this is not a string because it obviously has a, a number behind it. So Python recognizes that, right? So what we're doing up here is we're declaring all the values, right? So if you look at that in that sense, you know, we don't have to import, export, or anything like that on this one, right? So we can do something simple like, in this case, just print out uh, something and say, what's the value of num one plus uh, num uh, four, okay? And we can just do that. And then at that point in time, we can just hit run. And we run and the value is 10, okay? So six and four is 10. Now, what we can do is we can make this a little bit different, okay? So we can say if, okay, if num one, right? If num one, and we'll kind of get that like that, and then we'll say is greater or equal to, let's see, greater, greater or equal to, and we'll say, uh, let's say six for that case. And what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll say uh, print, and then, then we'll actually have something to print. Then we'll say, okay, uh, then we want to do num uh, two, and then we'll say times num three, num three, and we did not put the eight, but let's make, make sure we put the times in there and we'll put the brackets back in there and everything will be back fine. Okay. So, uh, and obviously too, don't capitalize anything that's not capitalized. So you see you have corrections in there and for that factor. Um, so in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna scratch, scratch the bottom. And we're gonna say, if the very first number is above six, then we're going to print this, okay? Then we're gonna print the sum of that. So let's go ahead and run that, see what that gives us. Okay, so that gave us 30 down here. All right, so that, that's another thing, right? So let's just say one was uh, five. What is it gonna do? It's not gonna do anything, right? Because we didn't have anything, right? Uh, let's see, see, we can install this real quick. Are we doing a, a quick little update? It's got a little pip update wants to do. Uh, so it's gonna come down here, it's not gonna do anything because obviously in the statement, uh, five is less than six. Now, what, what would happen if we went, if uh, we took it to seven? Would it still work? Yes, at that point it will work because the simple fact of seven is greater or equal to six. Now, so that's a simple little way to look at, you know, Python. Uh, a couple of things you can do, you know, print functions uh, and if, if function, you know, like that's the way you would do an if function. Um, and you can always step outside of here and do another print too. Like if you wanted to print and say, um, you can put in single brackets, you can put uh, 
the sum of or the sum uh, equals and then put over here brackets in here and then we'll say num uh, let's say two okay we we'll use num two in here and then we'll do plus we'll do plus right here my shift key is not working for me uh, and we'll do num let's just say four for this one all right so num four so in that case what's going to happen is it's going to say the sum equals the and what the equation is right here so we're going to first print off again print everything here and this time you see down here it says that the sum equals so the sum equals seven okay so there's a couple different ways you can do Python a couple different ways you can kind of understand it I personally like the IDE of uh, using VS code just simply because of the way you can simply click come over here and uh, install for one you can just install a Python right off the get uh, it's really simple to install it's really easy to use you don't have to do like go over here to find run terminals or this and that you just come over here and hit run and you're good as long as your code is good right and for that you have code organizers stuff like that you can always come in here and add some stuff to your system um, like right now I currently have Python PyBalance prettier for code um, stuff like that and I believe I have the rest of these so but just come in here and and recommend a docker right so I haven't done that one yet but again I just want to give you a couple little Python tips you know I mean because numbers and stuff like that are really simple but understanding numbers um, and understanding the things you can do and understanding variables within Python are a very simple task so I recommend you just do this little exercise and see where you get with it right um, you know just you know download VS code is completely free then install Python from VS code then go ahead and run this task it's that simple I mean you can literally do this within five minutes after watching this video so with that said hope you enjoyed it hope it taught you something and we'll see you on the next one